walk us through it. Let us know what you did, front to back, top to bottom. Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, 7.30 Sunday morning. Going out for a ride. A couple hours. Meeting up with a buddy. Gonna do... Um, if you guys don't already know, I live in Pennsylvania, central Pennsylvania. <laughs> Excuse me, and um, gonna go over to Lancaster, about 40 minutes from me, maybe a little bit longer, east. Gonna head over there, grab some breakfast, and then shoot south uh, down towards um, almost down to Route 1 in Maryland, kind of along the Susquehanna River, I believe it is, and then on the I guess I'll say on the north side of it, and then we'll loop around, maybe come back up the the south side, and I'll head back. So, oh, and um, we'll also take a look at my buddy George's Rogue Glide ST. I'll do a bike check on his bike. You've seen it on the channel before. He's done a ton of modifications to it over the winter months. So let's let's see what he did, and um, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. There's Harley dudes in York plant. I gotta see if they're doing those tours again. I'd like to do that. Two things, real quick. I mentioned it in my last video. Man, the combination of that thrashing easy inner arm and the recluse torque drive. Oh my god. The uh, neutral is like a, a damn joke now. It's like, it's so light. Goes into neutral like piece of cake. <laughs> Feels really good. I'm here, check in with you guys in a bit. All right, it's George's bike. I'll show you guys that in a little bit when we get to Eisenhower's. We're gonna take a ride, about an hour ride south along the Susquehanna, hit Eisenhower's Harley-Davidson, and then come up the, like I said before, that would be the, coming down the river would be the, the north side, and then we'll hit Eisenhower's and we'll go up the south side of the Susquehanna. So I'll check in in a couple. Look at this thing. Carbon fiber everywhere, just gorgeous. George's 
bike is fast, that's for sure. And about to be faster because he's got to get his tune cleaned up and that's not all he's pushing, I'll tell you that. Real fast. I'll tell you what, when I do walk through his bike, you guys will see, I mean, I I can't even figure it, and I'll ask him, I'm sure he shed a lot of weight on that Roguelite ST. He has carbon from front to back, he's got, I mean, you, you'll see it all, I mean, he's got, everything's carbon, super light. I, I, I do think he's, I do think he's doing the fairing too, I just don't think he has it yet, I think it's been held up for a while, we'll, we'll find out, but... It is a super, super nice bike. Look at that. Sounds awesome too. Guys, I wanted to walk through this Roguelad ST. This is George's uh, uh, 2022, right? 2022 Roguelad ST. You can check him out on Instagram, Sepa Bagger, S E P A underscore Bagger, right? Yep. Same on uh, YouTube. Same handle. All right, so. All right. Walk us through it. Let us know what you did front to back, okay. top to bottom. Let's start with the front, very, very front. So starting at the wheels, <coughs> the Lindo rocker wheels uh, were their crown cut, I believe their crown cut rotors yep. and brake pads. Got a Denali uh, switchback LED lights mounted to the calipers. With ARPs. That's right. Got the original Garage Moto fork brace, Pro One uh, gold forks, stock size, stock yep. length. Uh, 49 mil, nothing's changed there. Standard, yep. standard length, 49 standard length, standard length, and 49 millimeter front end. And then what's this guy right here? Ah, Sly Fox carbon fiber front fender. Sly Fox. Yeah. Uh, I think this is an HR3 bagger spoiler. These look like Harley. This That's is the Harley. same as mine. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys are noticing the theme throughout, and you maybe cannot see that, but this is printed right it's, it's vinyl vinyl yeah. and you'll see that all that's carried all the way throughout so it really matches that I keep hitting the camera that really matches that bronze that comes out of the box with the Roguelide ST what do we got here Clock 
where it's nine and a half inch color flare. Yep, that's yep. not yellow. That's not the ice. That's yep. the yellow. Regular yellow. Here. Yep. <laughs> Clean Moto Rigid Adapt XB lights. Nice. Um, now let me ask you a question. Yeah, you started with carbon here. We're gonna see it towards the back. Isn't something happening here? <laughs> yes or no? No. 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 Okay. Maybe. All right. No. <laughs> All right. Moving, moving, moving down. <laughs> Uh, All right. Denali lights on yep. the crash bar. We saw that. And these are... Uh, I think they're... Just they're, some aftermarket. Yeah, they could be from Denali, actually. Yeah, I had the yeah. ones from Custom Dynamics. Yeah. I don't use them anymore. Thrashing uh, floorboards. I believe they're the Apex floorboard. Yep. Uh, short shifter, the easy shifter. Back yep, this here. is one inch, small, one inch shorter than standard. Yep. Toe peg. Get the, uh, that's a Santoro. Sh Santoro shift linkage. Yeah, just wrapped in vinyl wrap. You guys may be wondering what this scoop is here. You gotta yeah. talk to George about that. Check him out on Instagram. This is gonna be patented design here soon. <laughs> Just kidding, but. Yeah, ultra cool flow. Yep. Uh, fan assisted oil cooler. You might be wondering that. You yeah. reload the horn. Obviously, that's standard here. Yep. Just keeping the bike cooler with the scoop. That's right. I also lifted up the tank. I don't know if you can tell. Yep, tank is lifted. What would, about what, an inch, about an inch less? Yep. Yep. Front right. and back. And then internals, I think you basically, you got a clutch and you got the uh, the ramp, so. Exactly, yeah, the Evo Evolution what, one uh, ramp and, and springs, and then the AIM And then clutch. performance machine, he carried that throughout. You'll see that on yeah. the derby cover and then on the other side yeah. as well. Plus the animal, the grips. Yep, the performance machine, bags. performance machine. Yeah. While we're up here, we might as well talk about what we got here. Black Widow Creations. Yep. So this is Black Widow Creations Carbon. We got the Flow Two Finger. That's right. You got the Dynajet. Power Vision. Power Vision sitting up there. Yeah. What are your bars? Oh, uh, BRS Customs. And that's definitely one and a half diameter, yep. right? Check them out, Bill Rickards Designs. Really yep. nice, nice bars. The Harley Low Profiles. What yeah. do we got right here? Sly Fox. We said so. Sly Fox on the dash. Yeah. Carried the vinyl throughout. This looks like performance machine as well, right? That's Harley. Oh, Dominion. that is Harley. Yeah. Dominion. I only thought that because that's that's yeah. matches perfectly. It does, right? It looks really good. Yeah. You may be wondering. He doesn't have the trash top. Doesn't need it because he's got the uh, vented dipstick on the other side. Yeah. Not to mention cooling here, cooling here. Um. And then we, you know, he puts oh, yeah. in the red right oil, so there's no blow the Yeah, yeah, he's got the fan assisted as well, the Harley, or you can get it from. Um, yeah. Who did I get it from? I got it from uh, T Man. T it wasn't T Man. I forget, yeah. but there are a couple of them out there. Okay. Santoro. You said that, so Santoro yeah. there. Bags. Uh, Hoffman design. Oh. Yeah. Look at the cut. So we still got the vinyl in the bag. Looks awesome. This looks like Hogwarts. Yeah. For the four point. Sly Fox rear fender. Yep. That I cut, shortened it. Custom Dynamics. Who is the plate bracket? So the bracket is Forever Rad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. With a Custom Dynamics frame. Nice. So. That's an awesome setup for the carbon rear. Like, I love the clean setup yeah. and how you put that at the bottom. Because typically they're sitting up here, right? Exactly. I like the placement on that. And you chopped the fender, yeah, right? Yeah. So, the bag. yeah. So he took it up about, I don't know, what? A couple inches? Yeah, it's probably right down here, yeah. like four to five inches. Oh, we didn't even say it, but the SDC Saddleman yeah, with cool. the color match diamond stitch. Yep, the Pro Grip. Yep, Pro Gripper. Yeah. Obviously, uh, we said the Lindahl wheels, so matching from the front. Yeah. You got the adjusters from Performance Machine. Right. Fuel Moto Contender 2 in 1 exhaust. That's the Contender 2 in 1. Swing arm caps by Figurati, are the same ones in plain. These covers are from, from Hoffman, as well. Hoffman as well. Wheel pressure gauge. A1 cycles. A1. So trans cover, obviously cam chest cover, vented dipstick, so performance machine, performance machine, and fueling. And then this is the 
This is the real nice setup here. Yeah. 62 millimeter HPI throttle body in gold. Oh, the anodized gold yeah. is super nice. With the uh, matching uh, tunnel ram intake. <sighs> Obviously, push rod covers, lifter covers all blacked out. Everything's blacked out. And that pretty much rounds it out, right? Not it, yeah. All right, guys, so go check him out. Like I said, S-E-P-A bagger, underscore bagger, both on IG and YouTube. And, dude, he's done an incredible job on this our Road Glide ST build. This thing is sick. And if you go check him out, you can find out about maybe what's coming on that bike. So definitely go do that. And I uh, will check you guys out on the next one. Peace. Yeah, it looks good. It looks awesome, man. Guys, I'm gonna end it there. Now the sun's out, right? Been hiding in the clouds all day. It's a good day to ride. Hanging with George. Hopefully, enjoyed that bike check of his 2022 Road Glide ST. Just a phenomenal build. I uh, love really everything he's done to that bike. It's a it's a beast. Gorgeous. But um, yeah. Appreciate you coming for the ride as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.